Simply follow this Flutter roadmap to become a Flutter expert developer. Set up and install. Kickstart your Flutter journey. Pick your IDE, VS Code or Android Studio. Install Flutter from its official website. After this, install the Flutter plugin by navigating to the plugins section of your IDE. Next, you need to learn all the basics of the programming language Dart, which you could find on dart.dev slash language. Learn about variables and basic data types, the basic operators, control flows, object-oriented programming, null safety, as well as all the other important Dart concepts. All of these 12-week Flutter roadmap topics that you will learn about in this video, we have also covered step-by-step -step within our 12-week Flutter training courses that you could simply join on heyflutter.com. Learn Flutter basics, master stateless and stateful widgets, craft simple UIs and nail widgets layout. Focus on these widgets as these are the common widgets that are used in almost all type of applications. Next, you need to practice your Flutter skills. First, build some simple UI related apps such as login apps, gallery apps, social apps and many more apps. For inspiration, you could find many more app designs on dribble.com search for mobile apps, e-commerce apps, delivery apps, etc. To advance your skills even more, you could create UI clones of popular apps that you could also add to your portfolio. Networking in your app is vital. It lets you fetch dynamic content from the internet instead of static hard-coded data. Utilize packages like DIO or HTTP to enable this functionality, allowing seamless data retrieval. Serialize and deserialize data using JSON encode and JSON decode functions for efficient handling and presentation of information fetched online. Elevate your app's experience by dynamically loading content and staying connected to real-time updates. You could build weather apps or movie app for learning how to fetch data or communicate with APIs. Also, you need to learn to use packages from pub.dev such as Google Maps, SharePlus, Animations, Image Picker, and there are many more popular packages. Learn about backend. Explore Firebase by navigating to www.console.firebase.google.com and create your project. You can also explore Firebase multiple features like authentication, file store, real-time database, storage, hosting, etc. You can also consider AWS Simplify or Superbase as alternatives. The next big and important topic is state management. As a beginner, you might use stateful widgets and set state to manage the state of your app. However, once your app grows in complexity or you work with a team of developers on the same app, then to use a real state management is really important. You could choose between Riverport, Block, Provider, GetX or any other state management you like. With this, your apps should now use mainly stateless widgets and not stateful widgets anymore because the state and business logic of your app is managed by your state management and the UI itself is more or less stateless and doesn't include any state or business logic anymore. Learn Git, version management for working with clients or team. Master Git for seamless collaboration. Learn commits, pull requests, which are essential for team projects. Start by initializing Git in your project folder. You can use git init command to initialize the Git repository. Also, you can add changes by using git add command. And you can commit by using git commit command. And push changes to your branch by using git push origin and your branch name. And create a PR via platforms interface. So far, you know how to create great apps. However, they should also be responsive to look great on desktop, tablet and mobile devices. To make your app responsive, you could learn about Media Query and Layout Builder as well as the other helpful widgets. Besides this, to become more advanced, you could use different responsive packages such as Flutter Screen Util, Responsive Framework and Responsive Builder. Animations. Explore widgets like Hero or Animated Widget. Flutter has the Hero widget. It will automatically create a hero transition between two navigator routes. Flutter will figure out where the widget is in both routes and animate the change between the locations. To know more about animations, you can visit www.docs.flutter.dev or you can get our course to become an expert with animations. Next, you should learn about organizing your Flutter code better. The first major step is to learn about design principles. These four design principles are a must for every Flutter developer to write less and efficient code. Next to it, you should learn about architecture to structure your code in a scalable way. And finally, you need to master all these design patterns to write highly reusable, scalable 
and most importantly maintainable Flutter code. Publish app to Play Store or App Store. To publish on Play Store or App Store, prepare your Flutter app for release. Generate a signed APK or IPA. Create a developer account on the respective platform and follow their submission guidelines. Upload your app, complete necessary details and await approval for the world to access your creation. You can get our course to become an expert with the app deployment by visiting www.heyflutter.com CICD. Set up GitHub Actions by creating YAML workflows in GitHub slash workflows for automated tasks. Use Fastlane to define deployment lanes and streamline app distribution with commands like Fastlane Build and Fastlane Deploy. Integrate both for a powerful automated CICD pipeline in your Flutter project.